Hey, what's going on? Cesar Rodriguez here. And I just wanted to take a second to deliver a message that may change some lives because I know it just changed the lives of one of my relatives. I had a conversation with someone who is very close to me. I'm not talking brother or sister, someone that is one step removed, but they're family and I love them to death and I want to see them succeed. And I gave them some advice that I just want to share with you. Because I saw that on Instagram, they were posting some negative stuff about how the government isn't going to take care of us and how we're all out on our own. And it was just kind of some, it was just kind of a little bit of a negative rant that was just essentially blaming the government and the system for not being better to us. And I just had a little heart to heart, dropped a couple messages because I just want you all to know that you should never be relying on the government to take care of you. I mean, that is just honestly weak. That is weak. You shouldn't rely on anyone to take care of you. Unless, of course, they're your partner or something, you're married and you guys are together or something like that. Then you can count on someone else to take care of you. But other than that, I mean, to expect anyone else to really take care of you, like especially the government, that is crazy. Listen, these are the messages that I shared back and forth. And I'm just going to abbreviate some stuff, but I just want to share some of this with you because you may not have a relative like me in your family that can just wake you up and talk some sense into you. You may not have that benefit. And I know that I really didn't have someone like that until I met my mentor. And when my mentor really started to give me different challenging ideas other than the stuff that I was just conventionally brought up with. When I started to get exposed to new ideas, I started to open up my mind and I was able to create an amazing life for myself. So I just want to share some of this with you in case you don't have a person in your life that will be a leader and tell you what you need to hear, not necessarily what you want to hear, because that's what real leaders do. And I am a leader. So I tell people what they need to hear, not necessarily what they want to hear. And I take people where they need to go not necessarily where they want to go. So let me get into it and just share some of my thoughts here. And hopefully this inspires you, kicks you in the ass, and helps you transform into a 10 times bolder, more confident, badass, and successful version of yourself. All right, you ready? Buckle in. Here we go. So the first thing that I said in response to some of these messages that I saw that were posted up on his stories, I said, hey, listen, I never really relied on the government to take care of me. To rely on them is to be weak, and I don't need them to take care of me, and neither should you. Your attitude is correct in the sense that you should consider yourself on your own, because that was one of the things that he said. He said, hey, we're on our own. And I told him, you're right, we all are, which means it's up to you to build your future and take care of yourself. And luckily for you, in this country, you have everything you need to become as successful as you want to be. It's easier here than almost anywhere else in the world because here you have the most rights and the best access to technology, Wi-Fi, and an abundance of people that speak the two languages that you happen to speak because he speaks English and Spanish. The United States of America is a pretty good place to live in if you speak English and Spanish. So is Florida, especially Miami. <laughs> So again, ease of communication, ease of technology, a ton of rights. I mean, America is a pretty good place to plant your flag if you want to be successful. I mean, there's not a lot of people in America risking their lives and hopping on makeshift rafts saying, if I could only make it to Mexico. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think a whole lot of Americans are doing that. But I do happen to know that there are a lot of people doing that every day to try to get into this country. So I mean, that's just something to consider. And one of the other things I said to him is I said, and you live in New York, which many consider the best state in the country to live in because it has everything, the coolest people, tons of business opportunities, the works. I mean, New York is a pretty dope place to live. It's kind of considered the capital of commerce in the country. I mean, Wall Street, I mean, how many iconic businesses are from New York? How many people in their life have said, man, I got to get to New York so I can chase my dream. I mean, New York is a pretty iconic place. I mean, I may be a little biased because I was born there, but I mean, it is. So I said to him, you shouldn't be complaining about anything. I mean, bro, you're even good looking. I mean, and that's the truth. I'm like, come on, bro. You hit the lottery in multiple areas. <laughs> Not that that matters a whole lot, but it helps. It's a nice little bonus. 
I told him, I said, look, you could grab the world by the balls if you wanted to. You've just preferred to play small, not learn all the shit that you need to learn, not work smart and not commit to being successful. You got to be hungry and you got to be willing to put in the work. And the good news is that's something that you can decide to do at any time you want. You just got to be hungry enough to want to go after it. And then I told him one of my dreams is that one day you'll wake up and change your life like I know you can. But again, you got to want it. You got to want it, baby. If you don't want it, if you're not hungry, success isn't going to come knocking on your door. And then I close off my message by saying, honestly, if roles were reversed and I was you and I had someone like me in my life, I would have read every book he's read by now. I joined whatever business he told me to join. I'd be his best student and I'd find out what kind of work he put in and I'd exceed it. And that's why you're struggling right now because you don't have that Mamba mentality. Now you could get upset about it. You could dwell on it. You could even get mad at me for saying all this. Or you could consider this the greatest locker room talk and coaching you've ever had in your life. And you can begin to do something about it and get rich. That was my message to him. And that is my message to you. In case you don't have someone that loves you enough to keep it 100 with you and to challenge you to step up, I wanted to fill that role for you and have a chance to change your life. Now, he took this message very well. I mean, the first thing he said, why the hell would I ever get mad at you? The fact that you're telling me something that I need to hear, not want to hear, is appreciative enough. And then he went on to tell me the reasons why he hasn't been successful up until this point is because he has gotten involved in different things before, but he hasn't stuck it out. He hasn't made a commitment to personal development. He hasn't been patient when the results weren't coming in right away. So he'd get involved and he'd do something and then he'd quickly quit if he didn't get immediate success. He didn't have patience. He didn't put in the time and he just basically confessed everything that has held him back from being successful, which is the first thing you need to do if you want to have a breakthrough. You need to just go ahead and acknowledge the fact that, hey, you know what? Honestly, this is on me. I haven't been disciplined. I'm blaming all these other people for my lack of success instead of taking responsibility, instead of rolling up my sleeves and getting to work. Because in reality, you can be successful. If you're willing to read the right books, listen to the right people, subscribe to the right podcast, listen to the right motivational stuff on YouTube, get the core information and the answers that you need to know, it's all out there. You can literally decide that you want to master something and you can hop on YouTube and you can watch a ton of videos that would get you to an almost mastery level. And if you can't achieve mastery just by watching other people teaching you, what to do, what to say, how to think. If you could get good enough in an area that you could attract the attention of someone who's willing to sow into you and someone that's willing to mentor you, to teach you all the things that you're not gonna find in the videos and in the courses and in the seminars. If you could come underneath someone's wing and have them mentor you and coach you and teach you what to do and really refine you and work with you and give you the benefit of their experience, then it's game over. That's what I did and that's what I do now for other people. It's not that hard to become successful. It's just hard to be disciplined and to say that, yes, I'm going to do it and to commit to doing it and to not quitting. That's the tough part. But the cool thing is, is you can control that 100% with your mind. Oh, but Caesar, you don't understand my situations like this. And it's eh, whatever you're going to say. There is probably someone who has less than you, who has a more difficult situation than you, who has less time than you, more obstacles, more challenges who's out there right now getting it done despite their circumstances. They're getting it done because of their circumstances instead of leaning on them as an excuse. Now, if you don't like how that feels and this feels a little bit too much for you because it's challenging you too much, then good. That means we've hit a soft spot, a spot that you need to fortify. You have an area of weakness or an area where you're really catching feelings on a message like this and you're going, he doesn't understand. Think about it. Analyze that. Why are you saying that? Why are you acting like that? Why are you treating me like I'm the bad guy? Why are you trying to be offended when I'm just here trying to help you by delivering a real message that most people wouldn't dare say because they don't want to offend you because they care more about what you think about them than they care about helping you get a breakthrough. And I'm just here to tell you, that ain't my card. That's not why I was put here, baby. I was put here to get people results because to keep it 100 with you, I care less what you think about me 
than I do changing your life and delivering a message that has the chance to change everything in your life. So I hope that you feel that. I hope that you know where I'm coming from is a place of love because I just want to help you to have a breakthrough. If that makes sense and this message was well received, then I look forward to hearing from you. Give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment below and say that you appreciate this message and feel free to share this video with anyone that you think might benefit from a tough love message like this. I'm Cesar Rodriguez. I appreciate you. And if there's ever anything that I can do for you, just reach out to me, shoot me a message. If you've got a question or a couple of questions on anything, just shoot me a message and ask. I can't promise you that I'll have a ton of time to chat back and forth, but if you've got a question for me and you wanna know maybe the next step that you should take to become successful, if you want some suggestions, if you have any questions, if there's anything that you're struggling with, just reach out, shoot me a DM on Instagram or Facebook, and I'll do my best to answer it as briefly as possible. Just please do forgive me if I don't have a ton of time to chit chat back and forth. But if you do have a question, I'll do my best to find the time to answer it. I'm rooting for you and I'm fighting for you. God bless. Yeah, I'm so bold, I'm so bold.